Welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and tonight we're talking about the outrage over Xbox. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started with this. So, as you noticed, I've spent the last couple of days really not online, not doing any lives, not really doing much. Um, just kind of relaxing, binge watching, doing some stuff, reading comments, stuff like that. Like, I just I needed to take a break. I needed to take a step back and really gather my thoughts on this whole freaking Xbox outrage thing. Because... Man, man, are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, so I got a few points to make tonight. I already recorded a video, but I didn't have my sound on, so I'm really hoping the sound is working this time. You guys keep playing, you guys keep trying to compare Xbox and PlayStation. That's not a fair comparison whatsoever. PlayStation is the only company I know that makes movie games, and they make the best movie games. Like, there's no question about that period like they they, they it, it, it's not even it's not even up for contention in gameplay in game gameplay visuals are not that far apart cutscenes are on a different level playstation has a super high budgets for building these they're not ordinary average budgets that other developers put into making the same games that we love and play and get excited about every time a new one comes out. PlayStation is on a different level than the rest of the gaming community. It it's it's a fact. Like there's nothing you can do to change that. I do not think that Microsoft is going to start increasing the budgets as high as PlayStation budgets to bring us games. To okay. <clears throat> When, when they increase the budgets that high and the, and the majority of that money goes to making these cutscenes, they got to cut the, they got to cut it somewhere. They got to cut out gameplay, they got to cut out length of game. They got to cut out there's, there's stuff that's going to be cut to give you those cutscenes. And I would much rather have the gameplay. period, period. I would much rather have a bigger, better map or better freaking or, or, or even story content that's not in these really high quality cutscenes, like i get it i want to be blown away too i do but i'm telling you everything that i've played on my playstation 5 to date is essentially playstation 4 games and we're paying 70 dollars for them <laughs> we're not even paying 60 bucks for them anymore so i don't get what the freaking big deal is now i understand <clears throat> there are a lot of genuine xbox gamers out there right now on twitter in the comment section freaking out about this <clears throat> like they're being upset about it and i'm like my gosh guys like seriously like seriously i'm already over it like i am like like i was mad i'm still mad i mean i'm still mad but i'm over it you know what i mean like it, it, it is what it is there's nothing i can do to change it there's no way i can get microsoft to reconsider and speed up the speed up the launch dates for either of these two games and neither can you um yeah we can vote with our wallet all we want we can say oh well, we're not gonna pay our <clears throat> we're not going to pay our subscription for game pass anymore like whatever you want to do whatever you, however you want to <clears throat> show your support now on this channel it is a known fact that i am 100 percent a forza fan I'm, I'm perfectly okay if i get a new forza this year like if i get a new forza that for me would be like oh yeah microsoft delivered i didn't buy an xbox series x being like oh yeah man by the way i'm gonna get I'm going to get all these Bethesda games. I'm going to get all this. I'm going to get all this. They're going to keep doing acquisitions and I'm just going to get all these games as exclusive. Like I, I never bought my Xbox for that. And I need you to understand that. That's not what I bought my Xbox for. I bought my Xbox so that I could have a better third party experience so that I could have a better third party experience. And so that I could enjoy Forza games when they come out, like being able to play Halo and gears and all of those other, you know, Xbox first party games that's a bonus to me that's a bonus to me i get to play those and 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 enjoy those 
But I mean, the main games I'm always after are third-party games. That's why when they buy a company like Bethesda, then it's like, okay, yeah, that's exciting, you know, because Bethesda is something I buy a lot of games from. Are they like my top freaking... I don't think Bethesda is even in my, in my like, like my top freaking tier of developers, man. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I like Bethesda games. I think they're fine, but they're, they're not like, oh my gosh, man. They're like, I'm, I'm not like a super big, um, <clears throat> a super big Skyrim fan. Like I like Elder Scrolls Online, but I'm not really like the super, super big Skyrim fan. I just never could get into the wonky movement and stuff like that, whatever, you know, on like the third person camera. <laughs> Um, and, and like, I, I've, I've barely started to get into like first person slashers, like, uh, um, uh, dying light two and stuff. Like those are pretty cool, but they got to have an adjustable field of view, man. You can call me, you can say that I'm an Xbox shill all you want. Like, I, I don't even care. Like, like I really don't care, but I'm done being mad about this and I'm done seeing all the negativity about it. Like this is way too negative for something that, it's getting way too negative. It's getting way too out of hand. A lot of people are looking at what these PlayStation fanboys are saying, and it's like, dude, who cares what the PlayStation fanboys think, man? Who cares? You bought an Xbox because you like Xbox. You didn't buy an Xbox. Like, seriously, Microsoft's been doing Halo, Gears, and Forza for so long now that it's like, really? If you bought an Xbox after that, you obviously didn't care. You like the platform. You like what's going on with Microsoft. So why all of a sudden are you trying to pretend like like you expect these these PlayStation first party quality games from Xbox? Like I don't understand that. Do you really think that that they're all of a sudden just going to be like, "Oh yeah, man, we're going to start pumping millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars into building these games for for these guys and it's like, "No, dude. They're coming to Game Pass. They're not going to go out of their way and spend 100 million dollars or $500 million on budgets for games that are going to come to Game Pass. They're just not going to do that. Not until the subscriber count grows to match that type of a budget. I mean, I personally think that like in-game graphics like during gameplay are pretty close to what PlayStation's putting out. Like seriously, I mean, I think Forza 7 holds up really well to Gran Turismo 7 in their generation apart. Like one of them's, you know, a PlayStation 5 game and the other one is a Xbox Series or Xbox One X game. So I think they hold up pretty nicely. And I, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I just spent the weekend just kind of trying to look at what you guys were saying. Look at what was going on online. Kind of kind of put my finger on it. And, and I'm drawing the line, man. I'm drawing the line. Like I am not that mad at Microsoft. That I'm going to be like, oh man, I'm going to cancel all my subscriptions and everything else. I'm not that mad about it. I mean, yeah, I was upset because I really wanted to play Starfield at the end of the year. I, I want something that's going to show me the power of my Xbox Series X. And I'm sure you do too. Like, that's what I want to see. I want to see this thing. I want to see what a next-gen game really, really looks like. And the closest I've got is, for, is Flight Simulator. Flight Simulator, no doubt, is probably the most impressive next gen game i've seen so far and that's just because of the sheer scope the sheer scope being able to fly across the world i mean it it it, it looks amazing you know different times of the day and night and every like sunsets it it literally looks phenomenal like a lot and 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 i'm happy with that like i i can play flight simulator all the time and i'm always amazed at just how great that looks Forza Horizon 5 is the same way. I get in there and I play it and it's a different season. I'm like, wow, man, this looks really good. You know, the attention to detail that went into making this season look like real life. Like that, that's cool to me. That's cool to me. When I get into Horizon Forbidden West and I'm like, oh gosh, look at all the fog. <laughs> this looks wonderful. <coughs> it, it, it's, th that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I, I, this is the way I'm looking at it. I'll start being mad at Microsoft for not delivering me a next-gen game when Sony delivers me a next-gen game. <laughs> when Sony finally cranks out something that's using the full power of the PlayStation 5 and all the PlayStation fanboys agree, like, yeah, yeah, this is this, this is the one. I'll start getting mad at Microsoft for not putting out a freaking uh, a game that showcases the power of the Xbox Series X, man, because this is getting ridiculous, man. You're letting these guys over on the Sony Pony side convince you that you are lesser than them 
when there's not one game on the PlayStation 5 that's actually using the full power of the PlayStation 5. I mean, the Insomniac, like, oh, yeah, man, there's so much un untapped potential on the PlayStation 5. And I'm like, well, why didn't you bring it? Oh, oh well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, we weren't going to do that. We had to save some for later. And it's like, no, dude, like, I want to see. Like, I'm paying 70 bucks for these games now. I'm paying a premium price for a premium product that I'm not getting a premium product because you guys are holding back a little bit. You're like, oh, gosh, I don't know if we can stretch the budget that far. PlayStation's output right now is unraveling their little narrative about, oh, yeah, dude, our games are, like, super high budget. And they're like, I'm like, these are PlayStation 4 games that look a little bit better on the PlayStation 5. Like, they look they look like they got higher resolution, a um, little more fidelity, stuff like that. And it's like, really, man? Really? I'm like, dude, I saw this with an Ubisoft, Ubisoft game, Assassin's Creed, right out of the freaking gate on the Xbox. Watch Dogs Legion looked freaking phenomenal. 30 frames a second coming out. I was like, wow, dude, this game looks pretty good. I'd already seen that stuff, man. Like, I've already seen that. I've already seen, like, fields full of freaking vegetation and grass now like yeah i'd already seen that it, it it was literally built for playstation 4 you know what i mean like I, I don't get i don't understand why 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 fellas why are you guys getting so down on xbox like i get it man if we go a whole year with forza whatever whatever if that's it, man, I mean, they, they came out and they showed us off all these games. That's why I didn't like the fact that they came out and they showed off a bunch of stuff. I didn't like that, especially for stuff that's far out, man. Like, that that just made me mad because it's like, we know we're not getting these games for a little while. But they tell us, like, oh, yeah, man, you're getting Fable and all this stuff. And it's like, well, when, man? Like, when can we expect something like that? And now we got people like, oh, yeah, 24, 25, 26. And I'm like... Like, really, man? Like, why did they tell us about that? Because now we're thinking about it all the time. And we're just stirring up, our, getting ourselves stirred up around all this hype. And then it's not, and then it's going to take a long time. Like, I don't want to know about games that are coming out four years from now. I want to know about games that are coming out in six months. Six months. Games that are, like, right close to being done. They're putting on the finishing touches, man. Then I want to know about them. I don't want to know about stuff that's coming out two years later. You know, I want to know that they're like, hey, man, we got this many projects in the work. Works. Cool. That sounds cool. That sounds reasonable. You got this many projects. Cool, man. Like, like, like we'll, we'll be happy to see those. <sighs> man, I don't know. It just kind of, it, it kind of bugs me a little bit that everybody's just so quick to like turn on Microsoft all like at the drop of a dime, man. People are saying, they're, oh, yeah, we're Xbox fans, but then they're like just bashing them and stuff. And it's like, come on, guys. Really? Is it really that bad? Is it really that bad? And, and seriously, that just makes me think that if you are an Xbox fan, you are just saying that because I, I don't. Okay. I know you're upset because I'm upset. I'm clearly upset about it, too. But I'm not going to just sit here and start bashing a company that's done. That, that, that's given me. I feel I feel justified with my purchase of the Xbox Series X. I play it all the time. I'm always turning it on. I, I have a desire to turn it on all the time. I don't have that desire with my PlayStation 5. But I do with my Xbox. So I don't understand why why people are, you know, so quick to jump so freaking hard down on Microsoft. And it's like, dude, all the PlayStation's putting out is freaking PlayStation 4 games that look a little better. And they're charging you $10 for it. And you just bought a PlayStation 5. So... If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry about this one being like a little ramble thing. I'd already recorded like 15 minutes of this and I didn't have any sound. So I had to freaking start over again and I probably skipped half the points that I was trying to make. So I don't know, man. I'm just a little, I'm just a little upset that, you know, everything has just gotten so negative for Microsoft all of a sudden. And, and like if, if we're Xbox fans, we're, we're going to have setbacks, man. You're going to have setbacks on every console. Like, like you're going to like there's going to there's bound to be things that are not always going to go your way and 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 it does suck and it takes a little bit of time to to accept and just move on from but dang man this this internet stuff has gotten so toxic man it's so bad could you imagine being a developer right now <laughs> people are people are always telling you oh yeah well, we don't want you guys to crunch we don't want you to crunch and then they're all then they're, then they're freaking out at you because you're not you're not crunching to get a game out like i don't get it man i don't get it it's so 
it's it's so dumb man like it really is it's so dumb yeah we need you to crunch to get a video game oh no don't crunch i don't want you guys to i don't i don't want you guys to feel like you have to work it so hard you just you just stay home man just just don't worry about it just just take your time get, get us a good game and then like they're freaking out no I'm not, i don't know man i i don't know like this internet's getting so toxic and if you're an Xbox fan, stop letting these freaking PlayStation guys pull your freaking chain, man. Because seriously, seriously, all you're there getting is PlayStation 4 games. So, like I said, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.